Hey guys, I just wanted to share a couple of thoughts that I've been having recently with you. I was actually getting onto an airplane uh, the other day and I saw a advertisement that said humanity's most precious commodity or something like this. It was a water ad and it hit me that this is the reason why Jesus called himself living water. It's because he knew we would understand water to be the most precious commodity. Without it, we do, we do not survive. Water is the most basic, most needed thing in the entire world. So when Jesus comes, he says, I'm living water. I am your most basic need. Without me, you do not survive. I also have been thinking about how John the Baptist called Jesus the one and only. This is a very precious title because it means there is no others and there will never be another. It is Jesus and Jesus alone. Richard Raleigh once wrote that loving Jesus is the ultimate state of perfection in this life. And I believe it is this understanding Jesus as the most basic, fundamental need for life and the loving of him that is the real Christian life. And so often we get sidetracked with other things. Francis de Sales once said, we are more occupied with love than the beloved. And I feel that today we get occupied with so many good things and forget about him. You see, it's not prayer that helps us. It's not singing songs of worship that helps us. It's not holiness or fasting or knowledge or power or intercession or miracles or blessing. It is Jesus and Jesus alone. Many people have had all of these things, community around them, holiness in their lives, fasting, knowledge, power, intercession. They've had all kinds of these things, but have missed Jesus. And it's very important that we recognize it's the real living person, experienced, heard, seen, felt, loved, that is everything. This is the water of life, the most basic fundamental need for living. And I feel like he is so easily forgotten in the mix. And I, I believe it's important for us to recognize that we cannot want him without him. We can't desire him without him. We can't love him without him. And the sooner we believe this, we will never again live another day without throwing ourselves down at his feet, saying, you are all and you must be all in me. I encourage you to turn your eyes upon the person of Jesus and look full in his wonderful face and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. In the book, Looking Into Jesus by Isaac Ambrose, he talks about putting everything next to the glory and light of Jesus Christ. Whatever it is you're going to do, whatever it is that is weighing on you, whatever it is that you desire, if you put it next to the light, brightness of the Son of God, everything is seen in its proper light. Jesus, high and exalted, more glorious than anything else, puts everything else where it needs to be. And lastly, Many of you have experienced the sweetness of his presence in your life. Many of you have touched him, experienced him. Many of you have felt the sweet fulfillment of his person. And you know that being alone with him solves all of your internal issues. He gives you joy, fulfillment, satisfaction, peace. He lifts you above all the things of this world and he holds you in his arms you know that this is the secret place. My question is, why not live there? Why not choose to lay in his arms and bask in his beams, knowing that he alone is the fulfillment of all your dreams? God bless you guys, be encouraged. If you like this video, please subscribe, share it. Let us bring everyone to the feet of Jesus. 
This is the reason for living. God bless you. Matthew chapter 6, verse 6. Jesus speaks to us about prayer. He says, When you pray, go into your most private room and closing the door, pray to your Father who sees in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you in the open. This actual text is what the entire course is going to be driving home. We must spend time with God. We're going to talk practically about how to experience Him, experiencing and enjoying God from the scriptures. Thank you so much for signing up. I know the Lord is going to do something incredible in your life.